Welcome back guys, I'm Cell, and today we're getting a look at the Benchmade 710-1401, the Knifeworks exclusive. <laughs> Alright guys, so what do we get with the Benchmade 710-1401? Well, we're going to pause from our normal thing here. And I want to talk about why I picked up the 710-1401 over the standard 710. I have always loved the blade profile of the 710. I got knives sticking around here trying to get screen time whenever they're not deserving today. And I never liked the standard 710 handle. I would pick one up in the store, I would look at that blade and I'd be like, wow, that is awesome. That would be a great blade for all of these wonderful uses. And then I'd put it back down because the black handled version, the standard one, uh, was pretty expensive with D2 and the kind of awful handle. I did not like that G10 handle, uh, just flat with the little bits of milling in it. So, whenever Knifeworks came out with the 710-1401, and it's been a long time ago that I picked this knife up, uh, I had to have it. Two reasons. This G10 is contoured. Instead of being squared off, it's nicely contoured. I took a chance on getting the knife, and it is very comfortable. And our blade got an upgrade to M390. Now, of course, that ran the price up. Uh, it's about $180, which... Wow. Anymore, that seems kind of expensive for what we're getting here. But, you know, let's kind of get a look at it. Our closed length is 4.98 with a handle thickness of 0.527 and a closed height of 1.29. And those are the important specs, especially that last one. And that's one reason I love to carry this knife and I carry it, used to carry it a lot. It's that little thin knife and I thin this way, that sticks down in your pocket. It has no stuff. So you can get your hand in and out of your pocket plenty easy. And uh, that was just a beautiful thing. And like I said, I carried it for a long, long time, especially whenever I was working. Because, well, one, the G10 handles, they don't show wear. I mean, there's a little wear on there, but it's hard to see with the G10. So that was a beautiful thing. And you got a big knife, uh, almost 3.9 inch blade. And it's, you know, I don't know. I just really, really enjoyed the knife for a long time. Let's get some size comparison out of the way here. We have a Buck 110, of course. That's the Cabela's exclusive version. And we have a Buck Marksman. And you know, I just got a comment from somebody said they met CJ Buck, so there you go. And we move that out of the way, and we have our Essie Zancudo and our Delica. That's the Hat 40 version. The other one's still out, you know, slutting around or whatever he's doing. Dang thing. I wish he'd come back. But anyhow, it's a big knife. There is no doubt it's a big knife. But it's on, this knife is only 4.65 ounces. So it's big, but it's not heavy. It's not ridiculous. And that is, to me, a beautiful thing. I like having a big knife that doesn't weigh a ridiculous amount uh, part of the time. I'm trying to get extra screen time there again. And, of course, we have an access lock. And we should probably look this thing over real close. I've kind of skipped that because we were talking about other things. But what we get is that Contour G10, and that stuff is just beautiful. Got some scalloping all the way up through there, scalloping back through here. Standard Benchmade hardware, and now that's one thing Benchmade does well. They give us good hardware. We have our Axis Lock, of course, and we have some nice colored back or, uh Standoffs there, they're kind of a spool shape, and that knife's kind of dirty down inside. Probably should have cleaned it out. And we have a little bit of jimping here. On this side, we have one of the few things I don't like about the knife is this big chrome polished pocket clip. But I never changed it out because I carried this and just used it. 
and used it pretty hard. And once again, nice contoured G10 with the same scalloping down each side. And that's just a beautiful thing. And this one lays down in that handle nice and squarely. It doesn't have much choice. If this knife was off center, it'd be rubbing the liners badly. So, you know, it works out really, really good. And well, let's flick that guy out there and let's get a look at this blade. There's that bird turn trying to get screen time. And what we have is a piece of M390 at uh, just shy of 3.9 inches long. And it does have a bit of a recurve. And I know, I know, I keep talking about not liking recurves. I was able to sharpen this one up pretty good with the KME. And uh, I was happy with it, but especially because it was a work knife. And yes, it does have my name on it. And we have some swedge work up here. And the swedging comes out really nice. Pretty damn even. It's not quite perfect, but pretty darn close. And we do have thumb studs. They do get a little bit in the way here, but with a 3.9 inch blade, that's okay. Uh, and the thumb stud can be removed. So you can remove it for sharpening, which is something I wish more companies would do. Benchmade does with almost every one of their knives, and that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. At really a very simple blade, but it's just a thing of beauty. I rather like it. It doesn't have any fancy finishes on it. Uh, you get a good look at it. You can see some of the mill marks. You can see some of the uh, grinder marks. It's it's not anything super special, but it works really, really well. And from here, we'll go to our pause and read card, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so... Mechanically, we have an axis lock knife. We have a normal pivot with, it's just a sleeve and torque screw, large torque screw. I believe that's a T10, which is a beautiful thing. I always love to see that over a T6 or even a T8. And it is an axis lock setup. If you don't know what an axis lock is, there's a little bar down in there and you can see that there. Whenever I move this back, that releases a lock. This bar sits on a flat spot on the tang of the blade and locks the knife up. And this particular Benchmade has no play in any direction. It is very, very solid. You know, that's not normal for most Benchmades. Most of the time you come in and you have a little bit of play in that axis lock design. Uh, there are some things I wish Benchmade would do to straighten that up, but you know, that's where we're at right now. And you know, it is a really nice action. It could be better, but uh, again, I'm not going to fuss about it too much. And they also milled out the insides of that. That knife's pretty dirty down in there, so don't fuss at me too much. It's a work knife. But uh, it is milled out down both sides, and that's where we come up with that 4.65 ounces. It is a light, light knife for its size. And I don't know, guys. It's just a beautiful thing. I, I really love this guy. And we will get it in the Levi's. And I know you guys are going to pick on me here in a minute. Let's see, this thing does stick out quite a bit. Yep. I'm always fussing about that. And I tell you, I carry this thing a lot, and it does stick out quite a bit. It's not one that tends to get hooked on things, though. This particular uh, split arrow pocket clip from Benchmade, for whatever reason, whether it's the angles down here, the rounded off, whatever, it doesn't get caught up on things, and it will go in just about any type of pants you've got. And uh, one nice thing they've done here is they've left the lanyard hole just up above the pocket line, which is always a beautiful thing. Uh, allows you to get your lanyard in there and not have it stuffed down in the pocket as well, making it even thicker right here. But... It could set deeper, and I have some deep carry Benchmade clips, but I've never put it on there because I've never had a problem with this knife. It has rode fine, done fine, and you know, and this thing has got hours and hours and hours and hours of pocket time, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, it, I don't know. It, it's really hard. I put off reviewing this knife for a long, long time because I knew whenever I re reviewed the knife, I would end up coming off more like a fanboy than 
uh, a knife reviewer and uh, well you know if I do I'm sorry it's because it is a damn fine knife now it does have its issues but I like it a lot and let's get on to ergonomics ergonomically this is another place pinch made went with a very very simple handle design you guys know how I feel about that the more simple the handle design generally the better on an everyday carry folding knife and that's what we get here you put your hand around it and you're in pretty good shape you know there's nothing there to get in your way it is a tactical knife you can't roll it you can choke down on it I guess and thumb cap it you know whenever you get it in your draw cuts your push cuts anything you want to do with it it's there for you and there's nothing in the way and your standard grip the pocket clip doesn't get you now one problem with the standard grip and this comes from this thing being kind of a tactical knife is whenever you get your hand around it your thumb kind of gets pushed back here and I would rather have my thumb stretched out now I've put up with that because I like the knife so much but it would have been nice one other issue is even though we have quite a bit of traction here and we can get up here we even have a little bit of jumping here we can get up there for close work if we need to uh, that's not something I do because you're getting really really close to that blade uh, and at a bad angle where you could cut yourself pretty easily so the issues there and the issue here is if I did have that nasty box come and attack me on my way home uh, I've got the jimping there but I don't have that hook you get with a flipper knife to keep me from running up on that blade you know if you take look, this buck marksman you've got the flipper and you've got this hook right here to keep you from running up on that blade and for an everyday carry knife where I'm going to be out in public or around you know out in places where the bad guys might be that's rather important to me and that's one of the reasons I don't carry this knife as much anymore I and mean, I know it was designed as a tactical knife but that just doesn't give me a warm fuzzy so there's there's that and let's kind of wrap this up or I'm gonna try to anyhow the Benchmade 710-1401 of the Benchmades Benchmade 710s is definitely my favorite there are there is a 1501 and a couple of other exclusives to other companies that have different color g10 same design and maybe different blade steels all of those are great i despise and do not like the standard handled 710 just don't like it i i would always look like i said earlier i'd look at that blade and i'm like man i gotta have that and then i would get it in my hand and be like oh no never mind is it a knife to buy in 2017 uh it's a very unfortunate thing but i have to say no there are so many good knives in 2017 that uh kind of make this one not as good uh, uh you guys are gonna pick on me for this one but the knife that put this knife out of my pocket at work every day was this one now why did it do that because this knife has its own inherent issues that uh, could take away from it being a great knife we'll get into this one uh, I've carried it a lot so I've got a lot to say about it as well uh, but we'll get into it another time but the major reason that this took the place of the 710 is right here if that box comes after me I have that flipper tab to keep me from running my hand up on the blade and the jimping up here is better placed for my thumb and that's it doesn't have anything to do with brand or any of those sorts of things it's just got to do with uh, those two ergonomic issues and there are other knives that have kind of taken its place you have the hinderer and it's basically the same reasons I've got the slicer model and it's the jimping placement and this flipper tab that keeps me from running up on the blade now the blade profile here I'm not as fond of but it keeps me just a little bit safer 
and I really appreciate that. So, uh, at $200, and I know those two knives we just looked at are well above 200 bucks. At 200 bucks, the Benchmade 710-1401 is still a very good knife. You're getting M390 steel, and you're getting a very ergonomic, everyday use handle design. Is it a tactical or self-defense knife at this point in the game? No. Uh, tactical and self-defense knives have moved forward. They've taken into account a lot of these issues, two of those ones we just talked about and others, that people should be thinking about. And even though this was designed way back when and it as the tactical knife and it did come it was the introduction of the axis lock for benchmade uh, that makes it kind of nostalgic but it does not make it a tactical knife for 2017 some of you guys may disagree but that's just my opinion this is not the knife i want in my pocket whenever that nasty box comes around the corner whenever i'm walking down the street uh is it better than nothing? You bet. But it's not better than some of the other knives we've looked at on this channel. But it is still a very good everyday carry knife. I will walk, caution you on this. If you order one of these uh, from Knifeworks or anywhere else, you know, you got the 1501 from Cutlery Shop maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, it's got orange and red G10, same knife. Uh, do be sure to put in the notes when you order one for them to check the action and check the blade centering because Benchmade still has some issues with that. They are better with their higher end knives like this particular model, but still you don't want to get stuck in that situation where you're sending knives back and forth and trying to get Benchmade to fix things. They do have the Cadillac warranty, but do you really want to have to use it? I don't. But anyhow guys, that is my thoughts on the Benchmade 710-1401. It is a beautiful example of the 710 design and it's one that I will well one I can't really get rid of it it's got my name on it but it is one that I will keep in my collection for a long time and it is one that will get shop use but it's probably not going to get a lot of carry anymore because there are just better options in that nearly four inch blade and four inch blade area anyhow guys I really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me talking about one of my favorites, even though I picked on it quite a bit, the Benchmade 710-1401. You guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.